Earlier we touched on that components can also be made of multiple components. These kinds of components in Composer are called composite components. To understand this concept better, let's take a look at one of the core library components, the card component. So let's create a new card component. Looking at the properties panel, we can see that the card component has an extra button titled Open in Isolation Mode. Also in the tree view, we can spot that the card component has a little edit icon next to its name. Both the button and the edit icon will take us to the isolation mode for the card component. Another way to enter the isolation mode is by double clicking a composite component. In the isolation mode, we can see inside the component. In the case of the card component, it's made up of a title and a paragraph component with some styling applied to the container. Editing inside the isolation mode works very similar to the regular mode. We can use any components of our choosing inside the isolation mode. A logic canvas for the composite component can also be accessed, and of course any component logic canvases. There's a couple of differences we can spot too. Instead of a variables tab, inside the isolation mode we can access the composite component properties. We'll take a closer look at the properties and the logic canvas next as we build a composite component from scratch.